Guys, let's talk about, I've mentioned this, Mr. Phil Esposito. These are both uh, Topps versions of his cards. 72, 73 Topps. 71, 72. Same image, but the best. <clears throat> Couple of things, if you haven't known. His plaid pants are showing in both. And if you take a look, he's got gloves that say number 17, not 7. Which I do believe were worn by Fred Stanfield, if memory serves. So, Phil Esposito. Uh, let's see. Currently, he's color commentator for uh, Tampa Bay Lightning's radio broadcast. Um, had a 18-year career uh, with Chicago, Boston, and the Rangers. And um, considered one of the best of all time. Uh, in 2017, he was named uh, one of the NHL's greatest 100 players. And he's the brother of uh, former NHL goaltender Tony Esposito. A native of uh, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Um, Esposito was signed by the Chicago Blackhawks as a teenager and played for the uh, and was assigned to the Sarnia Legionnaires Junior B hockey team for the 60-61 season. Uh, in just 32 games with the Legionnaires, he scored 47 goals and 61 assists, uh, a, a pace of about 3.3 points per game. So early on, uh, it was uh, almost a given that this guy was going to be productive. Um, He's had a fantastic career. Like I said, after his playing days, he went. Uh, he's actually one of the founding fathers of the Tampa Bay Lightning franchise. And if memory serves, Tampa got that franchise. And uh, Hamilton, Ontario was in the running. And uh, we got the boot and Tampa got it. And there was a lot of controversy over that. But Tampa's gone on. Very successful franchise. Uh it hockey is surviving in Florida. Right now, Florida, at the time of this recording, Florida and uh, Tampa Bay are in the playoffs and playing each other in two good teams. So uh, hockey is alive and well in the Sunshine State. So uh, talk about some achievements. 68-69 uh, had a great year. He won the Hart Trophy, the Art Ross, 6970. Uh, he won the Stanley Cup with the Bruins, 7172. He did uh, win the Cup, won the Art Ross Trophy, whew, looks like six times. Yeah, six times. Won the Hart Trophy as the MVP twice. Um, number seven is retired with the Boston Brewers, Bruins. And a very cool gesture, uh, Ray Bork wore number seven, and when they retired his jersey, Esposito's jersey, Bork took off his number seven, handed it to Esposito, and was then wearing number 77. So just a fantastic gesture on Ray Bork's part. Um, career statistics, 1,282 games played, 1,590 points. 717 were goals. Phil Esposito was a true goal scorer. And in uh, the 70-71 season, he amassed 76 goals, uh, 76 assists, which was his best year for uh, both goals and second best to uh, assist totals. I remember as a kid, I thought nobody's going to score more than 76 goals in an 80-82 game schedule. There's no way. And um, some skinny little kid from Brantford, Ontario named Wayne Gretzky came along and and shattered that. Um, uh, let's see. He was inducted uh, to the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1984. Um, um, pretty much first year of eligibility he got in. So... Not much more I can say about that. He did coach the Rangers from 86 
uh, to 89. Uh, didn't have the greatest record. Looks like there were interim spots. He, he 86. He was he was 24 and 19, and he stepped in in 88, 89, and he was 0 and 2. So, um, just uh, all around great scoring leader of the NHL and uh, one of the true legends in the NHL. There you have it, guys. That is the legend. That is Mr. Phil Esposito. Take care.